As a high school sophomore, 5'9", Max Struess didn't have the size, but he did have big dreams. He said to me, Coach, I'm going to play in the NBA. Struess's high school coach, John Daniels, first met Max when he was in fifth grade. He was already a gym rat, playing up and following in the steps of his brother, Marty Struess. He always just wanted to compete and jump in, and you know, like when I'd have friends over to play basketball or something, like whether we let him play or not was one story, but like he always wanted to be part of it. He was awesome. You know, he, he just had a passion for the game of basketball. Um, he, lo he loved just to compete. And, you know, the thing, like, even, even like, through this whole process Max has had in, in the NBA is, you know, he's always, he's always itching for more. Coming out of high school, Max only had one D1 offer. So like Marty, he played D2 at Lewis for two years, then transferred to DePaul before going undrafted in the NBA. Now he's starting on the Heat in the Eastern Conference Finals. Did I think like the next jump was from there to like playing in the Eastern Conference Finals? Like no, um, but I, I think I think he did. You know, like as crazy as that sounds, like he just. I think we all look at this as like it's all icing on the cake like and, and I think what's made him great is he doesn't um, think that way at all. The road to the heat wasn't easy. After going undrafted, Max signed with the Celtics, then was waived and signed a two-way contract with the Bulls. While playing for his hometown team, he tore his ACL. The Bulls let him go, but that led him to an even better situation in Miami. The culture word that gets thrown a lot with the heat and you're seeing it now as to why they are who they are, like that just screams max of just shut up and work hard. Everything came full circle in the Heat's play-in game against the Bulls when Struess went off for 31 points and hit seven threes. It wasn't really like knocking out the hometown team. It was knocking out a team that, you know, didn't want you anymore. Getting into the playoffs was the goal, but pretty good story to do it against those guys. That chip on his shoulder is what those closest to him believe got him to this point. For people watching at home, um, you know, this is somebody you should root for. I mean, this is this is your neighbor. This is somebody and, and for kids at home. I mean, this is why you dream. I mean, this this could be you. But for Struess, the dream isn't over quite yet. Struess is averaging 10 and a half points per game in the postseason. He'll enter free agency this offseason and has set himself up to make a big signing. Now he's also coming back to the Chicagoland area this summer to host his basketball camp from July 17th through the 20th. Game seven is tomorrow night at 730. The winner meets the Denver Nuggets in the NBA finals starting June 1st.